Okay, welcome to my Drupal tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to add a page to your Drupal website. We did uh, Drupal installation, how to install Drupal last time. This time we're going to be actually creating content. Okay, first of all I want you to make sure you have this admin menu, administration menu, on your website. It makes things a lot easier to navigate, plus creating content is a lot easier. And you'll find that under site building modules, we've got that actually um, enabled under there as we wait for that. Okay, now we're going to go to here. Here under the modules, we have administration menu, so just make sure that's enabled. Also, I have a lot of the core um, Drupal modules enabled, like comment is one we'll be working with today. And then as well, we have path, which we'll be working with, plus some of the other ones I've just enabled. Also, node words, which gives you the ability to add meta tags and descriptions, and those are what Google kind of uses in their searches and Bing and search engines like that. So remember, when you're adding a new module um, and enabling it here, just hit Save Configuration, but I've already done that. So how about we create a page? Most of the creation is under Content Management, Create Content. And you'll see there's blog entries, forums, web forums. But we're going to create a page today. It's one of the main things you can make do to make your website just a little bit better. Actually, it's the main thing that your site is made up of, is these pages. So when you click Create Page, you come to this Create Page page. And we're going to actually create a title on our page called uh, New Page. Also, we want it to be a main menu link item which you can have your menus over here, up here, basically wherever you want. But uh, we're going to actually create that menu link right here on the page, which makes it kind of easy. So I'm just going to name that new page as well. And most of the menu link items will be under primary links when you create your page. So I'm just going to leave it like that. The body is the girth of your page, and um, you can create that in a number of formats. I'm going to go down here to input format. You can have it on filtered HTML, which if you copy and paste links or emails addresses, they'll turn into link, links automatically. It allows you for some of the more basic uh, tags, but we're going to go to full HTML because I know a little bit about HTML. And in here I'm just going to put blink, which is an old school tag. Hello world. And then close that out. <coughs> So we got that going for us. And I'm just going to skip down to the meta tags. This is the node word module, which this is the new one, so there's a lot more robustness with it. But I'm just going to kind of focus on three items here. Copyright, which I'll put as 2010. And then the description, which is what Google uses um, when your site comes up, when they type in keywords, it shows a description of your site or page. Awesome. Okay, so I've got that going for us. And the next section we're going to fill in under meta tags is keywords. So I'm just going to put new page, cool, exciting, fresh. So these are the words that if someone types it into Google, they might be able to find our page a lot better. And we're going to skip down here to URL path settings. And URL path settings, this makes it easier for actually search engines as well, but makes your site look a little better and organizes it better. You may be able to remember which page is which page. And it's going to be up here in this URL box. So right now I want this new page to be tutorial slash new dash page. So I'm going to put new dash page here. Actually, I want people to actually comment on this page as well. So I'm going to put on read and write so that way they'll be able to read comments that other people have put and then write comments that uh, uh, by themselves as well. File attachments, you can upload files with the, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Uh, authoring information, you can put your name, this is what your profile is, but we'll talk about that later, you don't have to worry about that. Published, you can not, not publish your page if you want to, if you want someone to look it over, but we're going to actually publish it. And we're going to promote it to the front page, which Drupal allows, has the ability by default to publish to the front page, which kind of makes it a little bloggy type of um, environment. And I'll show you a little bit about that. We're going to save right now. 
and here is our page. We've got Hello World Blinken. We've got the ability to add comments. Um, we've got the title, new page, and actually our link title is up here in the in the links section that I've created beforehand as well. So everything is looking pretty good. So if we go to the front page, like I said, we promoted it to the front page, and here we can see a little teaser of our page as well. And there's a link where you can actually go back to the page. And to kind of give you reference, I'm going to create um, a content here called a story. And I'm just going to give it a title of blah, and then a body of blah. And that's all that really is required of me, so I'm just going to hit save. And as you can see, here's our story, blah, 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 blah. And we're going to go back to the front page and see that, yep, it went to the front page because it, by default, stories go to the front page. So as you can see, it just creates these teasers of these pages um, in kind of a blog format. But, but say we wanted just new page to be the front page. Well, here's what we can do. Uh, go to Site Configuration and Site Information. Click on that. And under Site Information, we're going to go to the bottom here and it says default front page now by default we're going to have node which creates that bloggy type of promoter the front page environment but we want our new page to be the front page so we're just going to put in that URL path setting that we put in there before and put that as our default front page hit save now as we go back to the front page we see that blah is gone and now the only page that's going to be on our front page that people see is new page. Okay, one more thing I wanted to do is to add a new comment, people are going to have to click on this link and go to a separate page which um, shows the cut controls and I want that to be right here under the f uh, uh, on the home page right there to where the controls are right under the comments. Here's what we can do. We can go to content management to content types and then we're going to edit the page content type. And we're just going to scroll down to the bottom where the comment settings are. And we're going to open that up. And by default, it is disabled, so we're going to leave that like that. It's going to be a threaded list expanded, so it's going to show all those comments. The newest comment is going to be first. We're going to have 50 per page. And we're going to actually display below the comments the comment controls like we wanted to. Uh, subject field enabled, preview comment. We're going to make that optional for the users to preview their comment. And we're actually going to display the comment submission form below the post or comments. So now that we've done that, we're going to hit save content type. Okay, now if we go back to the front page, uh, our new page page, we see the hello word flashing, plus we see some new things. Here's the comments, so if people comment, we're going to be able to see those on the page. And then um, they're going to be able to post the new comment right under our comments. So that gives it just an, you know, an enticing thing for them to actually interact with your page. And then one more thing to make sure you, when you're using comments is to go to user management permissions. And under permissions, we're going to go to the comment module. And what we're going to do is, for anonymous users here, we're going to make sure that they can access those and post comments. Now, you can have it them content, uh, post comments without approval, but I don't really want them to do that. So I'm just making sure that I have everything right here so that they can actually see things. And you've got to check permissions on mostly every module. So that's something you want to check. But that's basically how you create a page and put the meta tags on, your comments, um, you know, just some beginning stuff on creating your whole website. Hope it was informative, and uh, please stay tuned for more of my tutorials.